What's up guys and girls and dogs and cats and whoever else is watching this video. So, another day of work, you know, it's all I do, except for I spend time with my lovely family too. So, today, I'm going to talk about something that bothers me since I am a parent and I seen this the other day. All right. It's a hot day. Not today. It's, you know. Yeah. It's not hot today. It's cloudy. It's kind of cool. We just had a rainstorm the other night, last night, you know. Yeah. So, the other day, it was one of our warmer days. I stopped and get gas. And I went inside and got a soda. I think I went inside and got a soda. I don't know. I think I did. Um, so, you know, I go in, I pay. And as I'm coming out, I see this lady pulling into a parking spot, put her car in park, and she's rolling down her back windows. Oh, okay, you don't want the car to get hot. That's cool. So I'm walking a little further. She's out of the car at this point. All right. She closes her door and goes for the gas station. Like... Not... Like, not even going to get her kids out. And one was in a rear-facing car seat. And the other one, um, I'm not going to judge how old it was. Okay. Here's what I'm going to say. If you have a kid that is in a face rear-facing car seat or is... Not old enough to be home alone. Not old enough to be home alone. Don't leave them in a car. Do you want to be left in a car on a hot day with just the windows cracked? Nah. You don't. So why are you going to do it to a little kid? Two little kids. Come on. You had those kids. You're their... You're responsible for them. Take them out of the car. Go inside. Get what you need. Put them back in the car. Start your car. Go. Not that hard. What else can I say? Except for it was... I couldn't believe my eyes. Like... Why would you want to leave... Like... What happens if someone would have came up and took those kids? Or someone hit the car and the kids were in it and you were... Like, there are so many things that could have happened while you were in that gas station. And you would have been oblivious to your kids being in there, either gone, stolen, hit by another car. I don't know. Here's what I'm trying to say. Don't leave your kids in the car. Honestly, I don't think you would want to be left in your car on a hot day with the windows cracked and that's the only airflow you have through your car. And I'm pretty sure if you have a kid that's in a rear-facing car seat, they're no older than two. So, again, don't be lazy. Get your kids out of the car. Take them with you. I don't care how bad they're being. I don't care how loud they're being. I don't care... If they are screaming their heads off and smell like poop. If they smell like poop, you probably should take them in regardless. But my point is, don't be lazy. Get out of the car. Get your kids. Take them with you. Do not ever leave your kids in the car. Ever. If they are 12, 13 and they say they don't want to go in, that's completely different. When you're, you got a kid that's 2 and three and two months old like I do, you're taking them all in unless you have someone with you. Me and my fiance do it all the time. 
If someone stays in the car, the kids stay. But if we all go, we all have to go in. You can't just leave your kid because you don't want to take care of them. Like, if you didn't want that responsibility, shouldn't open your legs. And here's another thing. All these dudes that want to have, you know, that get girls pregnant and then, like, disappear when they find out they have a kid. Do you think you're not liable for that? Like, do you honestly... You were you were half of making this miracle, and you don't think you should be responsible for anything. You're just gonna dip out and leave town and never talk to anyone. No, like you can be a father. That's cool, but it takes a special person to actually be a dad and help raise that kid. So. For all you, you know, guys that think, oh, you know, blah, 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 and you're so cool, you can't do, you can't have a kid, and it's going to ruin your life. No. Reality check. It's going to give you a life and give you a purpose, and it's going to change your life and get do it for the better, and it's going to give you a reason to better yourself. Right there, once you find out that you are having a kid, that should be... Your number one thing of, okay, well, I have to do this to start this, start doing better, and by the time the kid is here, you should at least have a couple things that you're on your way of doing. Not just, oh, I don't want it, peace, and then disappear and no one ever hears from you again because you don't think you want to take care of this kid. So, all I got to say is, if you have a kid, take him with you. Don't leave him in the car. God forbid, please don't ever leave your kid in the car. And guys, if you wanted to do the horizontal mambo, be responsible and be there for that kid. Don't leave it and don't just ignore the mother. Be there. It's a 50-50 thing. You both did it. You both were there regardless of if you wanted it. That's all I got to say. I'll see you all tomorrow.